when you haven't run a panel that requires software equipment for three years, sometimes it takes a little bit. So we are still working on that, but we will have uh, plenty of contestants up there. We've got our tables ready. Good, nice, sturdy tables. Do not throw people through them. This is a Mardi Gras theme, not a pro wrestling theme. <laughs> and once we are ready to go, we will call contestants up. Who, who wants to play, by the way? Okay, a lot of people. We will have one. We should be able to get most of you up here. Most of you. So, give us a little bit of time. We are going to, you know, put on our IT caps and try and figure out why this software is being finicky. Turn it off and on again. We've tried that. <laughs> we, we are not, I, so BC. So, so I tried to download more RAM, but it just ended up being a virus. <laughs> Everything, everything good. People, or I hope no one's actually raising their hand to give legitimate advice right now. We're, we're not bright enough to accept that, or we're just too stubborn. I know Tiggs is too stubborn. <laughs> so once we get this, once we get this all sorted away, we will get started and we will give you guys your full hour, hopefully. Before, between this and what's after this? Oh yeah, showcase. So play entertainment. So just give us a little bit of time, okay? Thanks. All right. Let's see who wants to play. All right. We've got a green, yellow, blue first year right here. Who else do we have? Spidey Kiku Cat, get up here. Yeah. No, no, no. Go grab a friend. Oh, you're already bringing up two of your friends, aren't you? <laughs> Grab one more. Grab one more. Okay. Come on, come on. Good luck with stairs. As a fellow first suitor, I understand. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Make sure your friends go with you. Because everything's better with first suitors. Oh, we got. Yeah. I, as, a, as a. Oh, you guys. Okay. Who do you want? Pick one more person. One more. One more. One more person. We got four over here. We got four. Perfect. Pick one more. Luna. Who's Luna? They're calling your name. I think they want you to play. Possibly. 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 You should boo this man. I'm going to stand over here so I don't get run over. This is great because this is definitely not biased because I don't know any of these people. I just know they're first years. That's it. All right, who is familiar with the Game Show Family Feud? Good, I don't have to explain the rules. Wait, all eight of you are familiar with it, right? No. Oh. All right, so, in general, we surveyed a lot of furries. A lot of furries, about a hundred of them. More than a hundred, maybe exactly a hundred. And asked them their answers to very specific questions. Kind of specific questions. And then we took the top whatever number of uh, answers, we put it on our board up there. And the higher the points are, the more people who said that answer, the more points you get. So, but we have to start this all with a face-off. Ain't that right, Tiggs? Yeah. Are we ready for that? Maybe. Maybe, I like that. That is not a no. All right, so, what is your name? Flurry. Flurry, and what is your name? Luna. Luna, of course your name's Luna. We were screaming your name earlier. Flurry, Luna, let's go. Let's play the feud. Woo! So, they didn't give me uh, enough money for a buzzer to hit. So instead, we have this Aquafina bottle that is mostly empty. So just grab it once you uh, think you know the answer, okay? First one to grab it will get a chance to, uh, so in this face-off, I guess I'll explain the face-off. I ask a question. Once I get done, done answering, whoever grabs the water bottle first will get a chance to answer. If you get the number one answer, your team gets to choose whether you want to continue to play or if you want to pass. If you do not get the number one answer, 
the other team gets a chance to try and get a better one. Whoever gets a better answer, they'll get to choose whether to pass or play. So are you two ready? All right, 100 furry survey. Top seven answers on the board. Name an animal that has a nub for a tail. <laughs> Luna, Luna, go. Deer. A deer. Survey says we're gonna need the switcher board. I can't see it either. I'm the host. Deer. I can't see it. Is it up there? Woo! Okay. Okay. Oh, number seven. All right. So there's six inches. I'll beat that. Bunny rabbit. A bunny rabbit. Let's see bunny rabbit. All right. Would you guys like to pass or play? Play. All right. They are going to play. So I'm going to slide over here. Keep that right there. All right. Let's see if I can fall off the stage here. You don't know animals? I didn't hear everything. That's okay. That's okay. We're only furries. It's okay if we don't know everything. In fact, we don't know much outside of like IT and stuff. All right. So there's still five answers up there. Name an animal that has a nub for a tail. Um, uh, bunny underground? Bunny, yes. Uh, bobcat. A bobcat. All right. Audience so the audience likes that. That's a good sign for you. It may be up there. Show me bobcat. All right, number three. I'm going to make sure not to trip over anything here. I'm going to try to. Try to stay away from being in front of the speakers because AV people know why. All right, so we've got Bobcat up there, we've got Bunny up there, we've got Deer up there. Can you name another animal that has a nub for a tail? Hyena. A hyena. Oh, you have one teammate that likes it. Show me hyena. Oh, okay, first strike. All right, so you get three strikes, but once you get three strikes, if you haven't gotten all the answers, they get a chance to steal the question. All right, so one strike, but you've got three answers up there. Name an animal that has a nub for a tail. A bear. A bear. Woo! Audience likes it. Show me bear. Number four. Wow, we've got two, three, four, and seven, but we don't have number one yet. One strike, still three answers up there. Name an animal that has a nub for a tail. Uh, all I can think of is a type of cat. Some cats have nubs. Some cats have nubs, that's true. I just I, really close cat. Yeah. All right. Show me cat. Ooh, two strikes. All right, you guys might want to start talking, thinking what might be up there that they haven't said yet. All right. You're not allowed to be nervous. No! You're not allowed to be nervous! Name an animal that has a nub for a tail. Uh, a sphinx? I don't know. A sphinx? A sphinx. Like, go out to Great Egypt and this. Did you say wah? No, wahs do not have nubs or tails. No, they do not. But but you did but you said six. Okay. So great Egyptians gods. Show us six. Oh, okay. Alright. Alright. Who's our team captain over here? Alright. Alright, this dude. Sorry, you get Vaughn told me, Captain. So there's three answers up there. If you want to steal all those points in the question, name an animal that has a nub for a tail. Hamster. A hamster. What do you think, audience? You think hamster's up there? Show me hamster. Oh! You guys know the points? Okay, guys, audience, what do you think's up there? I heard links, okay. Show me number one. Yes! Show me number five. Courtney. And number six. All right, 53 points over here, no points over here. We are going to get Mango. Super name's Mango, so it says in your badge. And super nervous mini hugs. Let's go. 
Uh-oh. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Thanks. All right, so it's either going to be the... Or... I like, it. I like this better. We need a lot more stupid sounds and furry uh, game show-like things. All right, question number two. Again, 100 furries survey. <laughs> top seven answers on the board. Name something that people put on top of a good old juicy burger. Mustard. Mustard survey says. Y'all are gonna have to help me with this Pickle. one. Uh, that doesn't look like, uh, is it? Okay. Is mustard up there? It's not there yet. Ah. I'm so blind over here. I'm, I'm, I, I'm covered in fuzz right now. It's loading. Oh, I assume that was an X. Okay. Cheese. Cheese. Survey says. Number one answer. You got Mini hugs. You want to pass or play? Play. They are gonna play. Easy burgers. Easy burgers. Jasper, think something that people put on top of a good old juicy burger. Right, we're gonna go with pickle. Pickle survey says number two. Nice job. Kamani. 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 Wow. That's... What is that? Oh wait. Is, where you say you put yourself on a burger? I was yeah. I would no no. No, we're, I was like, what? Is that like, is that like cabbage? Those type of cabbage one? Okay, so that's your name. We're not putting you on top of a good old juicy burger, are we? Okay, okay. All right. So you heard that Boris Band is for a 2022. Don't boo that. No, no Vor. Vor is banned. Are we okay with banning Vor? We don't eat lions anyway. All right. Let's not eat lions. So let's put something on top of a good old juicy burger. What did you got? Bacon. Bacon. Yeah. 
All right, they're going to play. I haven't gotten to talk to this team yet. Hope these speakers are sturdy. We don't want any like incidences here. How are we doing? Same thing. I'm sure that offends some AV people, and that's okay. They're, we can offend them. As long as we don't offend the lighting people. That's the important one. How are we doing? Not too bad. Having fun? <laughs> that's okay. I, I don't know where to put microphones in front of first suitors, even though I've been doing this for so long. Just like, here's. Should we not abuse the first suitors? Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Sunday. That's what you can abuse the first suitors on Sunday during first suit games. Okay. All right. Name an animal that usually has spots. Dalmatian. Dalmatian. <laughs> Show me Dalmatian. Number three. Nice job. Look at this. These questions are way too easy. All right. I'm going to show you this card. It doesn't have any answers on it, though, okay? I'm just going to show you. I'm not cheating by showing them. I'm not cheating. Has no, I have no idea what the answers are. Name an animal that has, usually has spots. Three seconds. Okay, okay. All right. Hey, that's only one strike, though. All right, name an animal that usually has spots. Come a on. giraffe. A giraffe. Yeah. Show me giraffe. Woo! Number five, nice job. Back to you, Arrow. All right. You ready for this? I think so. Oh, I'm going to go with a deer. A deer. Baby deers. Baby deers have, well, it's not proper English. It's just deer, like, you know, other weird animals that have. Just kidding. It's American English, not Canadian English. I don't know it that well, that good. Show me deer. Ooh, second strike. All right. Wait a second. Wait a second. Ooh, ooh. Come back here. Come back here. All right. We've got two strikes. They're looking to steal. Name an animal that usually has spots. A leopard gecko. A leopard gecko. A leopard gecko. Leopard gecko. Survey says. Ooh, third strike. Okay, we're gonna slide over here. They're getting their heads together. They're gonna swap them because they're first suitors. All right, you ready with an answer? Jaguar. A jaguar. For 84 points, I don't think probably lead. But yeah, definitely lead. Show me jaguar. Oh. Audience, what are we missing? I heard cow. All right, show me number four. Snow leopard. I, I, I just love how all the big cats are so offended by this question. We need a, a leopard and snow leopard are definitely different animals. They're different. Six. Hyena, yeah. All right. Hey, we got we got another question to go. I don't know what the points are. It doesn't matter. Let's go. Get the people at the end. You de you guys definitely got the better buzzer. All right. How many furries surveyed? <laughs> Top six answers on the board. Name a sport or exercise that an 80 year old would do to stay in shape. Golf. Golf. Survey says. I, I love how I have to lean. <laughs> The, the hourglass of death. <laughs> so long as we don't blue screen, we're good. <laughs> All right. All right. Go. Bitches. 
That's okay, I didn't see it. Did anyone else? No. <laughs> All right. Takes, give me a thumbs up if I can continue. Okay. Uh, going for a walk. Going for a walk. Survey says. All right. Pass or play? Yeah, we'll play. All right. They always play. What do old people do? We, we, we host panels at furry cons. That's what we do. And apparently yoga. And fursuit. Some of us still can. Name a sport or exercise that an 80-year-old would do to stay in shape. I was all, all I can think was wall walking, but it's taken. So, um, lifting, lift, lift, lifting elastics, elastic band. <laughs> elastic band exercises are are a very legitimate thing. I don't know what it's called. Resistance yeah. training. Yeah. All right, resistance training with elastic bands or weights or any of those things. Is that up there? <laughs> I mean, 
Huh? Did you guys see them? Yeah. Well, I, I, I know you guys did. I don't care about you guys. There's people up here who have a really bad angle at seeing that screen. <laughs> you can guarantee that. Because I've got a wallet here. Actually, I know. Actually, I know the answers. But no. It's got American money in it. It doesn't do any good up here, maybe. <laughs> All right, we got the. We gonna try this again? Let's see. What are you, Toby? It's probably number one. I bet you like. Uh, I bet you Slumdog Millionaire is not on the board. That was number two. I, I would lose my mind if Slumdog Millionaire was on the board for top five movies that are most popular among furries. The long game show. What are we doing here? Uh, oh no, why are we zooming out? Is this the end of the movie? Three passes are played. Played. All right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. So, since this is the final round, I can't give you guys a lot of time to think about it, so I'm going to read the question one more time for your team. Name a movie that is very popular with furries. Bad guys. Bad guys. Survey says. Number two. Nice job. Arrow. Balto. Balto. Survey says. Ooh, okay. All right. The Lion King. The Lion King. <laughs> Survey says number four. One strike. There's two answers left up there. Back over here. Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega. <laughs> Did I hear booing out there? <laughs> oh, okay, 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 wait a second. Wait. Are you booing the movie or the answer? The movie. Okay, I was gonna say, do not boo my contestants. <laughs> We're gonna throw down. Show me Alpha and Omega. Okay. Mega? Um, sheep and Wolves. Sh sheep and Wolves? It's like a weird 3D animated furry movie with these really weird. <laughs> it's a really weird 3D animated movie. Okay, Sheep and Wolves. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, you were really quick on that. Let's see. All right, guys, we are going, for the game, we are going with Sing. Sing, it's a great, Sing was a great movie. Much better than Sing 2. Oh, congratulations. Okay, Mango C, now, guys, what else is up there? along last night would know. At number five. Yeah, well, guys, how about I'm surprise too. I would like both teams to stay up here because we've got like ten minutes. We're gonna switch out the questions and we're gonna do a rapid fire round to have some fun, okay? Hey, let's play some Jeopardy music or something fun for a second. Oh, my ears.
right. So, for this one, oh man, I don't know if I have the right people for this question. But we're gonna do it anyway. Because this one's, I don't know, this one may be tough. You got I'll let you, if you have a friend you want to tag in, maybe someone who's a little bit older would be helpful for this. Maybe, like someone who's in their 30s. Maybe. Just someone in their 30s. Let's say, grab someone who... Oh. All right, fine. Tinker, get up here. Yeah! Yeah! But, no, 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 you have to bring Wheeler with you. He's got a bunch of dogs. Oh, fine. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hate having you for this question. Yeah, yeah but you have to pick someone to go up against. Yeah. He's the oldest dude in this regiment. I actually like this dude right here. This dude. Yes, get up here. All right. Sorry, as an old person, I feel like we're not well represented in the furry community. Get down, kids. Yeah. So, you two are going to be helpers, and once you hear the question, you'll understand why I have you up here, okay? Yeah. Tiggs, are we ready? No. <laughs> what? He's crying. He's crying or he's trying? I, I see a, a thumbs up, okay. Are, am I going to regret my decisions? Okay. Hey guys, how many furry surveyed? 100. This is good. Hope. Top eight answers on the board. Looking back at the Marvel movies, name a member of the Avengers. Iron Man. Iron Man. Survey says... Number one answer. All right, so, you want this team to play? Heck yeah. All right. Sorry, Tinker. <laughs> Language! All right. Sorry, so, I let the old people help with us. Now, you guys gotta take it the rest of the way. Looking back at the Marvel movies, name a member of the Avengers. Thor. Thor, survey says. Number two. Of course, furries would say Thor. No? No. No, no reaction to that whatsoever. Oh, wow, okay, wow. Thank you. I'll, I'll go with that. Captain America. Captain America. Yay. Number three. Oh my gosh, you guys are just going to go right now. I need these old guys up here. Hulk. The Hulk. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Black Widow. Black Widow. Survey says. Oh, Jeez. All right, so we've got three more answers up there. No strikes so far. The Green Lantern. The Green Lantern. Okay, I, I ask again, we are are we booing the contestant or the answer? Or the, or the superhero. You can boo the superhero. The movie. Yeah, who likes the movie? The movie. Okay. We can absolutely boo the movie. The movie was awful. Yeah. Show me Green Lantern. Marvel superhero, part of, member of the Avengers. Three seconds. No, Mr. No Idea. <laughs> All right, Mr. No Idea. That'd be a good superhero. Um, All right, so looking back at, so the, so the way it was presented, 
so much, everybody. Have a great rest of your con.